Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I know I'm going to get some backlash for this video, but I'm telling the truth. I want y'all to stop being nice. You ever heard the saying, the nice guy finished last? And uh, you might hear people say, oh, that's not true. You, know, you should be nice. You tell your kids to be nice. You tell... Other people, you should be nice. Well, I'm going to tell you something, if you ain't noticed it by now. That's the politically correct thing to say, be nice. But in reality, the nicer you are, the more you're going to get screwed over. Have you ever noticed that, like, you ask somebody or, you you know, you told somebody, I don't like when you do me like that. You just be real nice and calm and uh, whatever. I don't like when you do that and they do it again. Tell your kids, don't do. You be real nice about it. Don't do that. You know, y'all, y'all be easy. Y'all, you know, stop leaving your toy on the floor, and then they leave them on the floor again. Somebody, uh, owe your money. You say, you know, don't worry about it. Just pay me when you get it. You know, don't worry about it. Uh, you at work, and you got a coworker. He keep, you know, coming in your space and. You know, testing you and whatever. You say, man, don't, 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 don't do that, please. I don't like when you do that. You know, you look calm, a little nice, a little friendly way, right? You, you're just being nice. And the nicer you are, the more they keep doing it. But have you ever noticed when you buck, when you flare up, when you let them have it, they get right. When you let the kids have it, when you just, when you snap, that's when everybody getting the lockstep then. But all the time you was being nice, we get no results. And this world we living in right now, the nice guy gonna get eight, like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Now, I just use peanut butter and jelly because that's that what I love. I love peanut butter and jelly, right? So uh, let me fix this light in. But anyway, I'm trying to give you some advice on how to survive in this world that we living in. Have you ever noticed that I say like you got, you know, you got rich people that seem like they're real arrogant and uh, they don't really care about what other people think. They don't, they're not nice, but you know, they're successful. I remember my mo my mother, who, you know, she, she, she's my, where I was adopted is another, it's a long story. I'll explain it to y'all later. But my mom, you know, she, she was real nice. People, I, I know how people would borrow her money, right? And, and we didn't have much. Even though she didn't have nothing, the little bit she had, she was loaning to other people. They'd come borrow money from her, they wouldn't pay her back, they'd come borrow it again. And uh wouldn't pay it back, and she'd ask for the money, oh, I'm gonna pay you back, Miss Nancy. Uh this, you know, come with their different excuses and all their problems. Like we ain't had no problem. We live in the same neighborhood, we pulled too. Uh but my mama had a little more hustle, you know, she was a candy lady or whatever, so she would hustle and grind and try to make it in the way by any means necessary. So she real nice, and they will borrow her money again. Same people over and over again. They'll get stuff on credit, the uh, candy and stuff like that. Wouldn't pay her back. But then my father, he was what you call mean. So after so long of them not paying her back, he would go handle it. He would go, you know, he had a pistol hanging out the side of his the side or whatever, you know, where you could see the pistol handle or whatever. He'd go to everybody that owed her money. And he would go with an attitude. And guess what they did? They paid. All of them that were complaining, telling my mom that they didn't have the money, when my pop went over there, he went over there with that attitude. He went over there with that, get your mind right. That, 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 that you know what I mean? Everybody that said they didn't have the money, when he went over there with that, with that meanness, wasn't being nice, miraculously, the money came up. Some kind of way they found the money that they owed my mom. And, uh, I was, I was observing and I learned, like, man, you know what I'm saying? Now they, they, they teach you to be nice, but nice ain't getting you nowhere. Nice getting you effed over. So, as I got older, as I grew up, I, I you know, I didn't try the nice route. Same bad results. Being nice, bad results. So, um, uh, I, I started doing some experiments, started being the way I ain't take no mess. You know, I didn't play. You know, I don't, I don't play with me. And people, 
you kind of got your way. Not that I want my way. Well, who don't want that? Well, let me, let me stop that. I noticed that people, they, they don't borrow your money when you ain't nice. They don't ask you for no money. They, they, they go ask the nice people to borrow their money. The people they know that don't play, nobody asks you to borrow your money. Or if they borrow, they pay it back right when they say they're going to pay it back because they know you don't play. The nice guy, they're going to borrow his money. I ain't going to pay it back. Going to be spending money out of his face, even though they didn't owe him money. Uh, they gonna come back and borrow money again. They ain't paid the last money back. That what happened to nice guys. Women don't like nice guys. They'll say they like nice guys, but nice guys are annoying. They 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 soft. They weak. In a woman's eyes. So I learned. I, ain't, I I'm not telling you to like disrespect people, step on nobody, uh, mistreat people. I'm just saying don't let nobody play with you. You not not whatever you feel like telling them. People tell me I'm blunt. I'm straight to the point. I'm not playing with you. If I feel like telling you something, I'm not going. You know you keeping it. You've been wanting to say this for so long. It makes you sick because you holding it in trying to be nice. Somebody been trying you. You know they trying you. You know they lying to you, but you don't want to say nothing. You trying to be nice, and all along it's making you feel. It's getting you more and more upset till you finally snap. And now you're saying stuff you don't, you really didn't want to say, but you snap because you pissed off you're being nice. So instead of being nice, somebody rubbing you the wrong way, you tell them right then, don't worry about how they feel. Don't worry about how it bothers them. Stop being nice. You getting on my nerves, I'm going to tell you. So you can get, if you don't want to deal with me no more, that's fine. No peace for me. You owe me my money. Hey, where my money at? I need, I need that little bit. Like we, you either going to pay me. The either way or the hard way, but you're going to pay me my money. And now that I think of it, I ain't loaning you no more money. Once, and, and you, I ain't loaning money. I ain't doing nothing. You need some help, don't ask me. Get it yourself. Every time I've been down, I ain't had nobody to help me. You know, so when I, I'm saying people that you're being nice to, you turn around and need something. And watch what happens. I, I ain't got it. I ain't able to do it. You know, damn being nice. Be an a-hole. Let them call you a-hole whatever they want to call you. But you're going to have more peace of mind being an a-hole because people ain't going to bother you. People are going to stay away from you. They're going to go find the nice guy to run the game on. That's who getting game ran on, the nice guy. That so-called a-hole, he living in peace. Ain't nobody bothering him. Think about it now. Am I lying? Think about all the times you done been nice and what happened. You get fucked, effed over. But when you finally say the hell with that, don't play with me, and you get forceful with it, they get some act right then. So how about just being that way all the time? I ain't talking about being mean and always mad and upset. I'm just saying don't be nice. Tell them how you feel up front. Don't worry about hurting their feelings. If it's something that's going to bother you, hurt their feelings. That's your feeling. Better your feeling than mine. Better you than me. You're not going to have me all around here upset because I'm trying to be nice. I'm going to listen to up, up top. Nice or not, I, I'm not being nice no more. I'm being direct. Being strong. Because if not, in this world here we living in, you're going to get ate alive trying to be nice. I hate Mr. Nice Guy. You're going you're gonna to get ate up and spit out. If you think I'm playing, keep being nice and watch what happens to you. Like, comment, and subscribe. Have a blessed day.